I think I think a lot of the fun of it these days is reading and taking a look at what scenes we're going to be doing. We the, this year it seems this year we're all very there's a lot of group activities and it's a, and a lot of them are very physical and I think the physical scenes are the most fun. We have an oil wrestling scene which is uh, a big part of I think episode seven or eight or something and. That was fun. So I think it's kind of what's in the scene these days of what makes it fun. So if something like oil wrestling comes up, or um, uh, if, 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 or there's there, or having a party and doing crazy things at the party, like those things make it entertaining because that allows you the freedom to, you know, do something different. <laughs> I love the pot brownie party we had that Angela directed, where we all get wasted and um, <clears throat> we're dancing on the tables singing to Michael Jackson. But uh, in that scene, I, there was a scene Leisha and I have on the stove eating the brownie mix out of the pan, that, and we're clearly high, and we just we start having this conversation that ends in laughter, and I just thought that was so true to what friends do in those situations. and yeah. and. Uh, that was the mo actually, yeah, I think that was the most fun I've had. Yeah, and it was a little tiny scene. It's teeny tiny, but it was a blast to do. I think Jenny's storyline this year is brilliant. I think it's my, it is my favorite. I think it has so much life and so much humor, and I think Mia is playing this person you love to hate perfectly. I just think she's doing such a great job with it, and... The relationship that Jenny has with Nikki, it's obscene and it's so um, adolescent, but yet so fun to watch. And I think it'll cater to a, the younger audience that watches the show because it really is, I mean, it's funny. I mean, it's really funny. I've been in plenty of scenes with, with Mia this year, and I think Mia's just doing such a great job with her, with her work. I think Shane and Jenny are oddly kind of the same person. I think they're both self-destructive and both horribly misunderstood and uh, also both terribly scared of themselves and um, even more scared of what the world has to offer. Uh, I think that's why. I don't, I don't think Jenny's this awful character. I know, ever, she's, I know she's deemed the villain on the show. I never saw it. I always saw Jenny as a character that, um, you know, made some tough decisions and she dealt with the repercussions accordingly and um, I can understand why they're best friends I think it makes complete sense I think we both help I think these those two characters helps keep each other up <laughs> um, I think they're getting Hollywood pretty good with the uh, with the Nikki character she's this prototype for this for the young 21 year old starlet who has too much power and like like Lindsay Lohan, and uh, I think they got it pretty well with that character because she's just a loose cannon and uh, just, you know, does whatever she wants and doesn't care about the repercussions. I, th <laughs> I think it's a, l I, I mean, I think it's, I, what I find really funny actually is that Jenny has hired all of her friends to be a part of this. So Tina's the producer and I'm the hairdresser and, and uh, it's, it, I mean, I don't think that would ever happen in a big budget movie <laughs> but uh uh and so that seems a little far-fetched but you know it's fun <laughs>